All right, it's squid time. We're gonna cut this joker open. Uh, but it's actually already kind of cut open because sometimes they just kind of explode. Uh, but anyway, so when you're looking at your squid dissection, what you're going to be doing is you need to fill out your, uh, the handout or the, the lab manual, page 112, that ballpark area. Uh, we're going to first look at the external anatomy of this thing. So this is a squid. If you've never seen one before, well, here you go. First time for everything. This is the experience. Uh, it's, it's, it's awesome. Yay, squid. Uh, so let's look at the first external structure we're going to look for, the fin. Now a fin is used for movement, right? So, bam, it helps in movement. And it's found right there. So there's one on this side. If you come along with me, there's one there too. Two fins for the squid. All right. Um, I should have ended on fin because fin also means end. Anyway, this opportunity. Uh, next up. The tentacles. We'll start at one end, go the opposite end of this thing all the way down. Now the tentacles are my favorite part of the squid because they're in fact the most terrifying. For since I've re for as long as I can remember, every time I've thought about the deep ocean, I've thought about getting sucked down in there by a giant squid. Uh, at a time where I, this happened when I was a child, so I was, must have been exposed to a giant squid early on, just didn't realize it. But anyway, that's always been a deep-seated fear of mine, and I don't like going too far out in the ocean, because I'm pretty sure a giant squid's going to eat me. And it'll eat me, courtesy of the tentacles. It'll lash these things up, wrap it around my leg, and then pull me down, and then eat me in their beak, uh, using another structure to manipulate me and prevent me from leaving. It's pretty dark. Uh, but anyway, this is the tentacle. Tentacle. Look at those suckers on there. Oh, suckers latch on to you do their prey squids squid be a good mascot for a team but yet not done uh, be the voice of change push for it okay well one thing the squids have are eyes and so the cephalopod eye is actually pretty good overall they can they can see pretty well well some members of the cephalopods can which is what a squid is uh, so what is the eye on this joker uh, is it up here? Is it down there? No, it's going to be somewhere kind of in the middle, uh, beneath the collar. So if we rotate this joker around, uh, they're not that visible, honestly. Um, but they are, let's see if I can zoom in, not get my phone to touch the squid, and that's the objective here. Uh, and this area here is this, the eye. And so if you can kind of move around a little bit, it, it's, it's hard because the eye is a soft structure. And it just kind of falls apart when it's dead. But that's it. All right. Close enough. Uh, siphon. Now, the siphon is one of the big things the squid uses to move. It's an awesome little structure. It's a little water jet. Uh, so it's super cool. And this is the siphon right there. Siphon. Push. Just pushes out water. Propels it. Uh, anytime you see a good, a good squid video, for the most part, we'll have a good propulsion somewhere near it. And just poof, and it's gone. Uh, and it can also be a site where ink is released, so you can see a push of that water, also ink, and the next thing you know, boom, ninja smoke bomb, you can't see it anymore. That's why the squid's awesome. Uh, also, they have arms. Not just one arm, not just two arms. These jokers got eight arms. Kind of like something else we know. Uh, but in this case, you can see the arms here. Now, it's easy to get arms and tentacles confused with each other, uh, but don't. Tentacles have these crazy long extensions to them. That's tentacle. This is the arm. There's eight of them, and they're used to hold and manipulate prey and prevent it from leaving, like if it was me, being eaten by a giant squid. The arms prevent me from leaving that, uh, the capture. The tentacles are used more for prey capture. These are used for prey handling. Uh, modifications of the foot. There's a key mollusk structure. Okay, what else we got? Two left. Uh, the mantle. Ooh, the mantle. Now, a mantle is a pretty big structure amongst mollusks. Same here, too. And so you can see the mollusk, or the mantle, sorry, here. This is the mantle, this covering part of the organism. The mantle. Feels like I'm petting the squid here. Yes, good squid. Good squid. Um, it's dead. Uh, next up, the collar. Uh, and the collar comes out and kind of up and above near the eyes. So if you're a fan of popping the collar, so to speak, well then so does this guy. It's not about folding the collar. It pops it, and this is the collar down here. It kind of extend. It looks like it's part of the mantle, and you're like, man, this guy is crazy. That's the same thing, but no, it's not. The collar is this little extension off of it. The mantle is further up. The collar is the part that kind of dips down and covers part of the head region. So you can also see one over here. So yeah, collar, the V-neck. Uh, that's what they got. 
Okay, that is it for the external anatomy of the squid. Uh, check in the other video for the internal anatomy. Boom.